Understanding Charm and Grace in English. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore the fascinating phrases charm and grace. These words are not just vocabulary, they convey deep cultural and emotional meanings. Let's dive in and understand what makes these phrases so special in the English language. First, let's talk about charm. At its core, charm is about an attractive quality that makes someone or something pleasing. It's often associated with a personality trait or a manner that appeals to others. But charm is more than just being likable. It involves a certain wit, confidence, and kindness that draws people in. We'll look at examples and contexts where this word comes to life. Moving on to grace. This word has a slightly different feel. Grace is often about elegance and poise in both physical movement and behavior. It implies a kind of effortless beauty or dignity, sometimes associated with kindness and good manners. We'll see how grace plays out in various contexts, from ballet dancers to gracious hosts. Now, let's combine these concepts. When we talk about someone having charm and grace, we're often referring to a person who not only is appealing and likable but also carries themselves with dignity and elegance. This section will feature examples from literature, movies, and everyday conversations to show how these phrases enrich our communication. It's also important to understand the cultural nuances of these phrases. Charm and grace can have different implications in various cultures. We'll explore how these words are perceived differently around the world and in different social contexts. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of charm and grace in the English language. We hope this video has not only expanded your vocabulary but also given you a deeper appreciation of the nuances in English communication. Remember, language learning is not just about words, it's about understanding the culture and emotions they convey. See you in our next video.